have to invest in probably 30 hours playing around with this Arduino to get this to control my uh, movements on the table here. I finally gave up on it. I, I just didn't want to figure out how long it was going to take, and I just didn't want to spend the time, probably another 100 hours, to get everything working right and debugged. So I switched my mind, and I um, decided I was going to build a little, uh, just a signal generator and to run the motor. Now another problem that I had with the Arduino was I was trying to um, daisy chain two motors for that one drive off of one output to get the movements at the same time but uh, I was having trouble where one drive was dropping out it wouldn't run them both so um, that was a problem also I would have had to solve. But I was going to build a simple um, you know circuit for just uh, to generate the wave to run the um, the motor drive there and I found this on Amazon actually a pre-made one that's got um, three speeds on it uh, it's settable by jumper but I actually am putting a switch on there a rotary switch to change speeds on the go and it's also got a little knob to um, to help you fine-tune the speed also now I'm also using a couple of relays. I was just going to use a push button to control it. Um, these relays are pretty cool though. You can activate them high or low by just moving that jumper. Um, I was going to use a push button, but it was the time between the um, break of the contacts and make of the second set of contacts was not consistent, so that was a problem. And the relay is quite fast and consistent. And then these are the optical switches that I am using for the um, end limits too. Uh, stop the motors or to set the home if I want to set a home in the front and then a couple you know just some cheap plastic uh, switches that I found on Amazon I bought a bag of them for have to play with and then I had run out of uh, these little terminal strips for jumper and things together and stuff and I just got a couple of them off of uh, Amazon also I got some uh, five position ones and some 12s and also got some power jumper bars there to to um, bust the uh, five volts on and then I had some bag of these uh, strain reliefs I had gotten for another project and I'm going to be using them just to uh, make everything dust proof where the cables come in and go out of the boxes and stuff it'll kind of you know help keep the sawdust out I hope and uh, they, there's how they go on the cable I uh, you know, they just slide on, you tighten them down, and I'm just using some old computer cables that I have laying around for the final wiring when I get around to it. Now, the the reason I change, one of the reasons I change is I wanted a, um, a constant feedback on the position of the table. I didn't want to rely on the um, error in the lead screw and everything else just by, uh, you know, going by the Arduino move. So I decided to go with some of these uh, Easy View DROs. And they look pretty neat. They've got a really nice large viewing surface, um, power button. They've got a USB. You can tie them to your computer also. And they also have an external power jack for a 120-volt um, plug. You can just push the button. You can set them in uh, fractions, millimeters, or inch. And there you see it reads down to thousands. And you know, there's what it looks like when you set it to fractions. It actually um, you know, goes fully by the fractions. And then it'll just, you know, convert when you hit the millimeter or the inch. So it's pretty neat. Um, I think they'll work good. And uh, uh, that way I'll have a, uh, you know, a real-time feedback of exactly where the fence is. Yeah, I think it's much better to go with a closed loop than an open loop when you're dealing with steppers. And here's a little control box that I'm going to use. Uh, you notice I have one side for the uh, fence movement. And I decided I'm going to build my own router uh lift now also to match so I'm gonna have the other side for the router because uh, MLCS never got back with me if it would work if theirs would work with the um, actual Milwaukee router so I figure I'll build one I'm gonna wind up saving a lot in the end and there's gonna be a, a DRL just you know over each one so I'll have a, a full-time feedback on everything and I think it'll work out good and it's actually gonna cost me less in the long run by the time I get done good thing about going this way was within uh, like an hour and a half or two hours I had everything all you know sketched up mocked up and ready to run and um, you know, so there it is there's that little uh, signal generator board my relays um, rotary switch to change the speeds and a couple push buttons there to just uh, make it go forward or backwards and you can see that's on the one of the higher speeds there 
and um, then I just change the rotary switch and I can I can go right down and, and move it by um, you know extremely small increments I'll show you in a second so you know there it is on one of the, the slower settings and you can see I can I can just tap the button and each one of those in each one of those lines is one thousandths of an inch and I can actually a quick tap I can actually move it um, one tenth of that if I want to do a real fine adjust so you know this is really going to give me a, um, a super fine adjustment on my um, on the fence and the router I think and so far I found that that signal generator has no trouble running both um, motor drives at the same time so that's really the um, biggest part that I ran into and it looks like this is really going to work good so you know I'll I'll tell over time whether or not I have to build something different but you can see I can go right from uh, just by turning that rotary switch I can go from a uh, super fine movement to a uh, very coarse quick movement and it's all very smooth and uh, it's amazing how quiet I could get the stepper motors running with this uh, signal generator over the Arduino the Arduino always had kind of a, um, a real loud uh, rattling to the stepper motors so I think this is you know in the long run this is going to be the the easiest for me and you know I have like a couple maybe another hour to get everything packaged away and um, I'm done and ready to go so it's really uh, gonna save me just a lot of time that I wasn't really willing to spend right now in the future I may do something to upgrade it and try to learn some more programming with the Arduino but for now I'm not gonna there you can see how if you uh, block that sensor the motor stops moving in that direction and only the opposite direction button will work so you know basically it right now I'm uh, real happy with the way it's everything moving and working and uh, I can get the cabinet built start getting this all packaged and put away so pretty much you know in the end there's the optical sensor but in the end this is gonna allow me a uh, you know a, a table that's gonna be extremely accurate it's not gonna cost a lot for the electronics and um, it's going to be uh, reliable and quick and they're just a 36 volt medical grade power supply I'm using on the steppers along with a 5 volt just plug-in supply for everything else I really just uh, couldn't believe how smooth and quiet everything is able to run with this little you know basically it was an $11 signal generator card so I can see using more of these on other projects in the future also and now you can see I can uh, I can really get nice fine movements and uh, with that DRO on there I'll be able to have some uh, you know real time closed loop feedback so it'll make me feel a little better. I just thought I'd do a, a quick update to let you know I completely changed direction with the controls on here and um, actually I'm going to be building my own router lift to go along with it now. In the next video I'll have the start of the uh, actual cabinet build too put this on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.